I don't know who those two idiots were chanting in my stream room, but they've gone now, so we're safe. Um, yeah, hello and welcome. I'm Machine Day, and I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about a new feature that Twitch is testing called chanting. And it uses the forward slash chant text command when you're in chat, and mods can use it, and also the broadcaster can use it. It's currently not available for just any old pleb in your chat. This was announced, like, yesterday, and it's already rolled out to a number of different streamers, mainly some of the bigger streamers, but I think some of the smaller streamers will have it as well. I I've not seen it yet on my channel, but in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what it is, what the objectives of it are, how it might affect Twitch, also show an example of it in action. I'm also going to show some pretty interesting opinions that people have shown on this already, which are some valid and some of them were not very valid and some were just downright funny, to be honest. So if you find this video useful, hit the like button, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And of course, you're welcome to come check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Come hang out, ask me any questions, chill or not, whatever. Either way, let's do this. So here's the tweet we see here for a limited time experiment. Twitch is rolling out in some communities a new way to chant during hype moments on stream and mods can use a forward slash chant to suggest messages with text and or emotes. Viewers will see private call outs in the chant and can dismiss or participate. So here's a quick look at what it actually looks like to the viewer. Somebody else has obviously started this like a mod or the actual streamer himself with the forward slash chant command and then this appears to all the viewers that can then just quickly click the button. So Twitch has made it really, really easy for someone to come up with something creative, like a, some sort of silly chant, and then for everyone else to get involved at the click of a single button or a thumbprint, I'm guessing if this is on mobile. It may not be available on mobile yet. I guess we'll see. At the moment, Twitch haven't rolled this out to everyone. Clearly, they're just testing this to see how people respond to it, to see if the chat engages a little bit more. And I guess they'll have all the metrics and stats that back up whether or not this is a good thing or a bad thing. And these are probably metrics and stats that you or I wouldn't even and probably think of like does it affect how long a user goes on to a str does it does it mean that you spend more let's be honest we're probably gonna figure out if you spend more on twitch as a result of being able to chant on twitch that's the real deal here so what's the aim here for twitch with the chants well obviously for twitch one of the biggest and most important factors for anyone streaming on Twitch is the culture. It's definitely the unique selling point of Twitch. It's been going for so long, there's this real sense of community within Twitch that you simply do not get anywhere. Mixer, when it was around, YouTube gaming, Facebook gaming, you do not get that feeling of being in a community to the same level that you do on Twitch. And it's because of emotes, it's because of hype chains, and it's because of silly little things that they've implemented over the years. You probably won't call them innovations because you probably just get gotten so used to them. But at the time when these things have been rolling out over the years they've been innovations in the streaming market and even the very fact of being able to chat live while someone is broadcasting back in the day would have been in itself an innovation so clearly twitch is trying to expand on their unique selling point and kind of like leverage their strength but also trying to keep ahead of facebook gaming they're trying to keep ahead of any new players as well as well as youtube gaming too they want people coming back for longer to be served the advertisements to spend more money on bits and subscriptions and things like that they want loyalty and they want broadcasters with strong communities that are going to stick around and have your eyeballs on the content for longer so okay chanting it's a bit stupid it's kind of a bit dumb but when you think about the logic behind it from a business point of view from twitch it's actually quite cool and it makes good sense i also think as well they're trying to improve the moderation on the channels and that sounds silly when you're talking about having chants it's a little bit like frat boy type environment it's not really like that though the thing is if moderators can create a more positive vibe in a particular community or the streamer himself by using using chants and other similar types of tools that may be rolled out in due course, a community might be less likely to push the boundaries with negativity, more inclined to stick around and be positive, and therefore Twitch in itself is probably a safer place and a more enjoyable place for people. So I do think there's maybe like a, a more kind of underlying deeper objective that Twitch have got here. So this is what it looks like, and obviously they're making it really, really convenient for people to just get involved in this. I'm kind of annoyed that they use the new PogChamp emote because I don't really like it. Just want to show the reaction from Mizkif. He's put a reaction tweet here. Remove this or I'm going to mix it where there is no hype nor stream. I'm still live, by the way. This is obviously Mizkif trying to get some cheap PR because he was still live, and people will now see that tweet and maybe come to his channel. But he did actually test this, so I am going to show the test. Who asked this feature? Probably some mods, honestly. What is this? I, 
I feel like I'm talking to one viewer right now. Like, uh, what the hell? I can't, no one's – hello? You have never been more in sync than today. This is incredible. I don't know what to do. So obviously in that example, you could see that there was a lot of people in chat that were basically pressing the button when a mod had put the easy clap content there. The thing about larger streamers is that they obviously don't read every single message. There's so much chat there that they tend to feel the emotion within the chat based on the emotes or repeated messages that they see. So it's almost like more of a feeling by seeing the density of text rather than any one individual text when you get to the state where you're in, where you're getting 50, 100,000 viewers and it's simply impossible for a streamer to read. So having this as an option on the forward slash chat for the mods to almost like direct the feeling and the emotion in chat based on what's happening in the game or in the stream is actually quite a cool thing that they're doing. But it does remain to be seen whether or not this will be something that stays ultimately i think it'll be money that decides whether or not this stays if streamers as a result of having this have a stronger more lucrative community there's a good chance that the chance will be rolled out so who's going to get this at the moment i know i'll get the questions when people watch this video clearly this is in test and beta mode at the moment and only a very small fraction of people have it whilst they test it if it doesn't work nobody might get it they may never roll this out if it does work they'll more than likely roll it out at least to partners and affiliates i suspect they will not roll it out to non-affiliates and non-partners and the reason is because you don't get customizable emotes when you're a non-partner and non-affiliate and the emotes are obviously a key part of the chance I said I'd go through some interesting opinions on this that people have shown. There is this forum that Twitch has, which is kind of twitch.uservoice.com. It allows people, when they're running tests, to give direct feedback about any new things that they're testing. It's a good thing that they're doing this. They're trying to canvas user feedback. It's really, really useful. They say here, we'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. We look forward to hearing your feedback. Man, some of these comments, oh, in my opinion, we better to get feedback first before pushing this test out without letting streamers dis to disable it. Screenshot of what it looks like was sufficient enough for me to understand the concept man agent dave's having a really really bad day i like it's sharon's feedback here i could see this as a feature that could be a fun way for shy users to interact without feeling the pressure to chat this is obviously low commitment low effort like easy almost like part of the crowd content someone that is chatting and of course you get all kinds of different personalities i really like the sentiment of what she's saying here you don't know who's in the background watching your stream that might want to get involved but perhaps doesn't want to introduce themselves and have the pressure of doing that so this is potentially a really nice way of including those people and helping them to feel more included which is obviously very important to building a wide ranging community with all types of people and a very inclusive community as well a few people are saying things like it's spammy and so on and so forth no one really asked for this well often with innovations like this people don't really know what they want until it's put in front of you a couple of people saying you know it encourages spam and things like that but that's kind of the whole point as long as the mods are not doing this every two seconds it's probably not going to be much of a problem and it probably will encourage people to be more inclusive it was saying to remove it the thing is twitch will just have the option to turn it on or off so it's pretty narrow-minded thinking of the people that are even making these comments to say oh please remove this well why don't you just have a button to turn it off on your channel if you don't like it you then have the option so thanks a lot waka this feature sucks. I mean, I'm not sure what the three stars are, but I think we can use our imagination. Some other interesting feedback here. This guy says, chanting lags my Chromebook to death. Who has a Chromebook? So while I like the feature and it works great on other devices, maybe a way to hide them and any people just spamming the chat might help. That's actually quite an important piece of feedback. And my favorite comment of all of them is this guy, unclean. This is probably one of the worst things added to Twitch since I started using Twitch. The chants just flood the chat with pointless spam and chat unbearable. If this feature stays, I'm going to have to stop using Twitch chat. And without chat, I don't care for the emotes anymore. So why would I subscribe anymore? Okay, dude. Okay. Twitch is probably going to remove it now because this one person said that he's not going to subscribe as a result of it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the chat function below. I think it's a really good idea. And I think it's good that Twitch are trying to add new features. It's just a really good sign of a platform that's trying to create a better, more inclusive community. As always, have a brilliant day. Feel free to like the video, subscribe, and take it easy. Cheerio, guys. This is so f***ing dumb. <laughs> for sake. Jesus. Totally unnecessary.